What's going on, guys? This is your boy G Famous 92, and today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to use Discord. Now, remember, this is all recorded using the Elgato software. I have the Elgato HD 60 Pro, and if you like this, uh, the way it looks, the quality, or the 60 FPS, hey, go get yourself an Elgato. Anyways, let's move on to what we're here for, and that is the tutorial for Discord. This is how Discord look, and this is how uh, it looks when you open Discord. Now, I'm already in a couple of servers already, including my own server, uh, because I am a partner with Discord, and I am a partner live streamer. Now, first thing first, we're going to take a look over here at the right-hand side. And I'm going to uh, let you guys know what each and every little thing is on the right-hand side. So, first of all, I own this server. This is Gangsta Paradise, and... You know, I am the gangster seal, and that's what we call ourselves over here at Gangster Paradise. It's a long story. If you want to know the story, you can always join my Twitch and ask me in chat. I stream every day. So first off, it shows my name because I am the owner of the server. These people that are below me are people that I trust really like a lot, and they can do just as much as almost I can do. Just I can do more than they them. They can't ban me from here. They can't kick me from here. They can't do any of this, but I can do that to them if I wanted to. But I'm not because those are my friends and those are people who I trust that either mod for me on Twitch or just my friend. Okay, so these are the OG mods. Now, the gangster mods are down here. Gangster mods are below the OG mods, and they can't do as much as the OG mods does, but they can still do uh, quite a few things. And that's how these levels are. So we got me, the owner, the mods, the OG mods that are up there with me, just not as powerful as me. And then you got the other mods that are, um, you know, not as powerful as the middle mods. Right here, we have streamers. We give you a streamer tag if you're a streamer, if you have a certain number of uh, followers. That's how we do this right here. And it showed you who's all like who's all a streamer in this group. Down here, we got my subscribers and these are all the subscribers that are subscribed to my Twitch channel. Now, all of them are not here, but some of them are here and it shows you right here. Online is down here and these are the people online that are just chilling. And if you say at everybody, they will see, you know, your message and everything. Up here, we have something that you could press is to toggle your friends list or who's all in the server on and off. Right here, it it uh, it disable your notifications. So if somebody say hey, G famous, it won't pop up and let me know that, you know, they actually did that. It won't make a noise. I always have mine turned off because I am Twitch live streamer and I do live stream every day and I don't need that noise, you know, bothering my stream. Okay, so this middle, this middle is the chat. This is the open chat. We have different chats for different things. We have like a game section. We have a music section, a sellout section. If you want to advertise something like your your YouTube, your Twitch or something like that. And we have all kinds of sections. But this is just an open chat in general. Uh, we talk about anything right here. Over here, I just want to uh, go down some few things. Now, up here with the hashtag beside them, those are different chats that you can join and post different things in them chats. Those are not voice chats. Those are just text chats. Now, down here are the voice channels. All of these channels right here, you could join and talk to people in. Right now, I'm up here and I got everything muted because I am doing this video and I didn't want my friends to distract me. So they're down here talking. Now, when you first join Discord, it's going to be something like this. You're going to be disconnected from the server, but you're also still in the server, but you're not at the same time. If you're like this, you can only type in, in chat right here. And this is the only thing uh, you can't talk. You can only uh, type. If you want to talk to anybody, you have to join one of these uh, one of these channels. So if there was a person in Chill Zone. Uh, just chill zone I can just click on that and I'm ready to talk to them whenever I press my push to talk 
Now on the far left hand corner is all of your servers that you're either friends with or you're subscribed to on Twitch. Uh, some of these guys I'm subscribed to, some of them are just my friend. And some of them are, uh, I'm in their Discord because I'm partnered with them. They, uh, say, for example, I am partnered with Steel Series, and I got their Discord because I'm partnered with them. And nothing but partners are in this Discord, and we talk to each other, and we uh, they let us know when like new things are coming out. I'm also partnered with Twitch, so I got the Twitch little icon down here, and you can talk to every Twitch partner that uses um, Discord, and that's just about like everybody. Everybody uses Discord. Discord is the place to be when you want to talk to your friends because it's free, and it's actually really, really good. The application works just about all the time. You only have a few little bugs, but it doesn't really matter. So, in order to join a server, this is what you're going to have to do. Now, if you want to join somebody, a uh, server, say for a uh, example, a Twitch live streamer, what you're going to have to do is find their link. Get the link to their Discord. In this case, this is my link right here. But um, I will have to make a new name and stuff like that, uh, which I really don't have to do. I just have to log into this. Uh, I don't know why this is so little. But I would just have to log into that and then it would take me to my, my Discord. But if you're on mobile, if you click on this right here on mobile and it takes you to this link on your mobile device, what you want to do is copy this link up here. Just copy it. You want to copy it and then you want to go back to your Discord. You want to press on the plus button. You want to go to join server, not create your own server unless you really want to. And you just want to paste it inside of there and press join. I'm not going to do that because I'm already in my server. But that just give you guys example how to join a server. Now, other things we have are setting up your push to talk and setting up, uh, you know, syncing your Twitch with your Discord because you can do that. It will sync up everybody that you're subscribed to. Therefore, you have their Discord if they do use Discord. Now, first, I'm going to show you guys how to um, enable push to talk. First, you go through that cogwheel, then you come over here to the voice. Voice is right here. And then you get your input and your output set up. Now, your input is your microphone. Your output is whatever device you're using to output the sound of your friends. Uh, and you can turn this up or down. You can leave it at 100 or you can boost it all the way up to 200 if you can't hear your friends like that. Now, your input, you can either boost up your microphone only to 100. You can't turn it to 200 or anything like that. Push the talk is down here. What you want to do is click on this and you want to go to push the talk because not everybody want to hear every little single thing you say. Maybe you're talking to your friends or your parents or somebody in private and you don't want everybody in your discord to hear you. So what you want to do is click on this, change it from voice active, uh, active and uh, put it to push the talk. Now, going with this option down here will have people hearing you anything like if I just start talking, people will hear me putting it on push to talk. I actually have to press a key and then talk and then people will hear me. So I have it set to my mouse button which is another key on my keyboard or somewhere. And um, I just press my mouse button if I want to talk to my friends. Now, this down here, you can just leave it to 20 MS. Up here, you got advanced tab. And if any of these are changed, you can always just copy these settings. Now, I want to take you guys to connections. Connections would be connecting your Twitch with your Discord. All you got to do is come to the connections. You can't do this on your, uh, you can't do this on your, your, your mobile device or your iPad or something like that. You can't do this. So you want to go to connections on a computer or something, and then you want to click on Twitch. Then you want to sign in with your Twitch username and your password or everything like that. And then after you do that, it would connect, it would sync up with your Twitch and therefore whoever you're subscribed to, you will see them 
over here in in the corner, the left hand corner. And then you could just join their, uh, you know, their Discord, or either talk to them, or even type to them, or type to anybody that's in there. Now I have my Twitch and my YouTube connected. Later on would be Battle.net, Facebook, and Twitter. I can't wait for Twitter or Facebook. Battle.net, I really don't care, but it'd be a uh, cool feature. Now down here are people that I'm subscribed to. It's, it lets me know that I can join John Sandman's, uh, you know, Discord, or Monty, or Jingtai, or Savage. Or Sy Syndicate. Or my boy Feature. Which I'm already joined. I haven't joined theirs yet. Because I don't want the bar over here. To be all cluttered with everything. But anyways guys. This is the basic tutorial of Discord. There's nothing really fancy. Unless you own a Discord. And then it shows you everything. That you can actually really really do. I'm not too big in showing, like doing all of that. That's why I have mods to do it for me. So. I really don't even know how to do all of that, really, to be honest with you. I know how to do some things, but this is not the tutorial for that. We're just doing that basic tutorial on how to get connected and start talking with your friends. Because I see that there's a lot of people that actually have troubles with Discord when they're first using it. On cell phone, on computer, they don't understand it. So hopefully this video actually cleared up a lot of things for you. And hopefully I see you guys either in my Discord or you uh, liking Discord. Remember, Discord has a Twitter. You can always go follow them on Twitter and check them out and see what's going on new with Discord. Discord always get updates and everything. Matter of fact, we just had an update earlier. I still have to read up on that. Well, anyways, this your boy GFamous92. I'm out.